Hi guys, my name is Pratik Singh and this is my YouTube channel. I have been writing on PowerShell automation, cloud computing and Python scripting for a couple of years now. On my website, ridicurious.com, which you can see on your screen right now. I am also in process of writing a book called PowerShell Guide to Python, which is a comparative approach to learn two scripting languages at once efficiently. Please go give this website and a book a shot, you may love it. Alright, so today in this video, we are going to discuss about four ways to find OS architecture using PowerShell and check if it is a 34 or a 64-bit operating system. Let me just straight away jump into method one. The first approach which I am going to demonstrate here is using environment variables. So if in your PowerShell console, if you type dollar env processor architecture and run this, you will see you will get the result like AMD 64 in my case. This denotes that this machine is 64-bit machine. Similarly, you can use environment variable type accelerator by typing environment in square brackets and use the static property, which is is 64 bit operating system. So if I run this, you will get true or false depending upon you have a 64 bit operating system or anything else. Let me just label this method one. All right. So the second approach can be querying WMI or SIM classes in PowerShell to get this information. Basically, there are three classes available. The first one is Win32 operating system class. You can just use get WMI object commandlet on this class to get, get the OS architecture. Similarly, it has a same alternative available for this class in case you want to use get same instance commandlet. There is also a class called Win32 processor from which you can query the address with just to know what is the OS architecture. So if I run this, you will see like 64, which is which represents that my machine is 64 bit operating system. You can also run this WMI query and the same query to return 64 bit each. We can also run native commands in PowerShell. Like if I type WMIC OS get OS architecture and run this commandlet, you will see I'll get this result, which is basically in text, but I can query this information like 64 bit or 32 bit by considering this as an array of strings. So if I run this, now you will get the result like 64 bit operating system. Finally, and the last approach is using system.intptr type, which is an integer whose size is platform specific. That means you will get either four or eight, which is four bytes or eight byte, which can be translated to 32 or 64 bit operating system size. So if I run this type and use the size static property, you will see I'll get eight. This is eight bytes. So if I multiply eight bytes by eight bits, it will become 64 bit operating system. So this means it is a 64 bit operating system. In your programs, you can also use if and else statement just to make sure you get the right output. So if I run this, you will see you will get a 64 bit operating system. If you love my content, don't forget to send your support in form of likes and comments on this video. And please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel which is a motivation for me to create more such videos for you guys. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye.